Hello, w welcome back to Let's Play Control, where the Chief Gerbil took the head. Brand Hello. <laughs> Brand I am also, also here. here. Yeah. That's becoming a running joke. <laughs> and by becoming, I think that. Really oh no, no, no. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race, and we're all trying to be numb. Okay, I cannot hear him anymore, thank goodness. Limit Eagle Limited AWE Altered World Events. Yep, that's one of the directions. Yep, I guess we're heading that way. I think I will put this on so I can see. Okay. Oh. No, go away. Hey, thought I'd lost you. But, like I was saying, we're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race. He just, I, I can't say too much, I do this too, but that is, a, that is a thing I do, where I start from where I left off. Oh, he didn't start from where he left off. He started from the beginning of his last speech. Oh, hello, Polaris. Here's going to be the entrance. I am still nervous about taking over control points because the game has previously had that happen as an ambush. Because most of the time it's a Oh, you've 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 gotten to the next point, or you've done a victory. But every once in a while, it's it's an ambush. Also, okay. How many of you are left down here? I still hear music and grenades. He's on the bridge, Thrift. Oh, he's up? I was going to say something about they all float up there, but um, a lot of them walk, so yep. I, I can't do the, uh, no. the Stephen King's hit reference. Some of them go boom. Oh no. Why the Jericho reference? I don't know, it just came to mind when I exploded the person. Oh. 
I am very respectful of my enemies' bodies. Oh! That's right. Oh, there's more. Um... Dang it, I had a warm line already and everything. Uh-huh. Okay, Boomer. I am not a Boomer. I am a Gen X. I know. I'm what, I was talking about the guy with the grenades. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Now I get to try my hand at my... Uh, my wonderfully good sense of direction at figuring out which way I came in. It was uh, from over there, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Gonna have to go this way, because this is the way that's open. It... I don't know if this is the way with mold or with darkness, but either way... The darkness and the mold are both in this general direction. Can you can you go through the um, the behind you, Thrith? Oh, yeah. To the right. Oh. I it would take me forever to see that. That that's why I mentioned it. Yeah. Okay. I get hyper focused sometimes. Yes, that's a that's a common um, common symptom of ADHD. Yeah, and a little bit some of oh. I'm not sure. Yeah, then again, I don't know what I am. So, oh dear. Oh. Uh, gonna have to find a way behind. Yep. Yeah. He's up there stomping around. Can I get in behind here? Yes. Oh, hello. Where's a light? Ah! There's yellow over here. Who's Just goes sparkly. There we go. I like the fact that that you can't just pick it up and grab it and put it in place. You have to. Uh, you have to teleconnect and slam it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not a good sign. That's a reinforcement calling point. Yep. Okay. Let me check where we are. And let me check uh, for eradicate, the, eliminate the darkness. Also in that area. Okay. This is the director. I need a ranger at this location immediately. They get here really fast. The hiss are in for it now. Where are you? Oh, wow. You came out of the direction we need to go. Spiders, my old not friend. Oh, there's a healer here. Some there's a healing orb somewhere. There you are.
Um, I think it's dead. Just a little. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> that was great. Not mm -hmm. gonna lie. That was just great. Vengeance. Uh, the rangers shooting things somewhere. Ah, I think the ranger might be dead. Sadly. Yeah. It's okay, the oldest house is actually cloning them. I mean, that's literally Je true. Yeah, Je Jesse is the only person in this entire building that's actually real. Well, no, there's there's Pope. That, you, you make a good point. And I think Arish is, is pretty uh, real. Um, I mean, it could be like Ravenloft. Where there's like a handful of people with actual souls, and then a whole bunch of clones. Oh, hello, yellow thing. Network disconnected. Why is this yellow here? Ah, so you can get up to the, um... Oh, so I can get to here. Yeah. Okay, let me... Okay. This way. Okay, do I have I have to turn the wheels somehow? Possibly. Uh there's probably a door around the bottom edge. Yep. Yep, over here. That I think this is how I came in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go around the bottom edge here. Max height. Do not get your head cut off. Green tarp. Health pickups. No. Okay. Um. Maybe on the. I think maybe it's going to be in one of the alcoves. There should be yeah. a control station somewhere. There should be, yes. That's what we usually found. Uh, that's not it. That's closed. That's closed. Ah! Aha! You can get through that window. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And I think we got some, um. Hello. Sheesh. The, um. The reflection scared me. <laughs> There should be two more of those. Brain missing? To the good for nothing to the security check. I know you took part of my brain when you put me through the metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain caused me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me. I can tell you this much, I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back, and you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore, Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I will be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Right. 
Okay. So. Utility corridor. Yep, right there. It's not very tall this time. Hmm. I hear it. There it is. Where? To the right. Ah. And the mold should be coming up fairly soon. Mm-hmm. That, that was progress, darkness. Yeah. It broke. Hey, mold! <sighs> yeah. Oh, I love the, love the splatter effect from the, um... The, the, yeah, the, the... The, uh, the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher, yeah. Okay. Another one of these. Page two. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads to the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. All the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. It fades away and we see two men are in the other dimension. The yeah, air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. Interior, unknown dimension, night. Scientist, what have you done? You've doomed us. Director, control yourself, doctor. What's, the, what's this beast of yours? Scientist, where is this beast of yours? Scientist, right there, sir. Horrible shapeless shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Director, what what a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. There's a reason why this never got put released on TV, and it's not because of the redacted, you know, prophetic nature of it. It's because you're writing a novel. Well, there's a little bit of that, but also... Okay, so there's a thing on the horizon that can't be described. How do we translate that to TV? Yeah, I know, and the, he doesn't know how to, I mean, I, I can't say too much because I don't know how to write uh, scripting. In, in, I guess I know a little bit because I do commissions all the time. Um, but, yeah, it's like you're not giving scripting, you're, that's not scripting information, that's novel narrative. Yeah, uh, it's right there, right. No AC, I think also no by, no? or circulation. I think I got all the rest. You did. Might yeah. get a bit stuffy in here. Yeah. Oh. No. So. So what does happen? I I have done a script writing course, so I can answer this question. Yay. Um. So. In scripts, you do have description and stage direction. Uh huh. Um, so you do write things like, you know, setting a scene, so you, you know, you can describe the light filtering through, you know, the blinds as they sit, uh, as they sit so it's smoking a cigarette if you're going for a film noir sort of thing. Right. Um, that, that sort of thing's totally reasonable. Um, because, you know, a script also has to set the mood of the piece. Um, right. And if a scene is silent, um, also remember that a director or movie filmmakers will measure a, um, the running time of a script by 
how long it is, basically. Got it. Okay. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, it, his, his scripts are very purple, and doesn't give very much in the way of good description to the people. Yeah. I mean... When we play um, Alan Wake, you'll see what those are. Um, in the Alan Wake book, the uh, book in the Alan Wake video game, they're just these little shorts that you come across that are kind kind of like that game's version of the uh, the, the kids, right? And also the uh, threshold kids, right? And I'm also thinking of uh, Max Payne had a similar thing. Yes. Yeah. So it looks like we need a lot of these power cubes. I see two of them right now. And eight slots. Yeah, and I'm also going to switch them to a new video, so I'll see you in a moment. Cool.